Antarctica is the coldest place on Earth and surrounds the South Pole region. It is the fifth largest continent in the world. It remains a unique continent with no native population. There are no specific countries in Antarctica, but seven countries claim different regions of it. The nations include Argentina, Chile, the United Kingdom, Norway, France, Australia, and New Zealand. This video is set to explain fascinating discoveries in Antarctica that could change history. Numbers 5 and 9 will shock you. Make sure you watch until the end to get the best of the disturbing discoveries we picked for you. We hope you enjoy this video compilation. Please like and comment on the video and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more. A Bizarre Oval Shape in the Ice It wouldn't be fair to begin a video on disturbing discoveries in Antarctica that could change history without talking about this 2012 discovery. In 2012, scientists in Antarctica were left puzzled after a satellite snapped a bizarre oval shape in the ice. The oval image measured around 400 feet wide. After scientists thoroughly analyzed it, they were convinced it was a man-made effect. The rings of the structure looked like the walls of a compound or something carefully designed. However, the images appeared to be on one of the Earth's most remote and untouched regions, the vast frozen deserts of East Antarctica. This is the coldest, driest, windiest place on Earth, and it's located miles from civilization. This dismissed the possibility of the future being artificial. Scientists tried to explain it as a bizarre ice formation caused by Antarctic winds, specifically catabatic winds. Catabatic incident winds are formed on the tops of mountain plateaus and glaciers. At night, the plateau radiates heat, cools the air, increases the cold, dry air mass, and makes it denser until it breaks through any natural barriers. These winds can form satrugi, dune-like features that appear on snow. The puzzle is that stratugi are sharp, wave-like ridges in the snow surface that run parallel to the direction of the wind. They form unusual shapes, but rarely an oval ice feature like the one captured by the satellite. The conclusion was that the satellite imagery was a great source of information. However, explaining what the image was depended on the physical contact of the scientists with the feature. Pyramid Mountains Countless theorists have tried to explain the origin of an Antarctic mountain with a unique pyramid-like shape. There has been the belief that ancient civilizations created rocky, pyramidal structures like Egypt. Others believe that the Pyramid Mountain is a sign of alien involvement. From a scientific point of view, the mountain's pyramid's shape result from erosion. Experts have explained that after millions of years, erosion could have led to the formation of the feature. Freeze thaw erosion, specifically. When snow or water fills up cracks within a mountain during the day, the snow freezes and expands when night falls and temperatures drop. This expansion causes the cracks to grow, which can cause larger cracks, and eventually entire rock sections start breaking off. Experts believe these erosional processes most likely shaped other pyramidal mountains, for example, the Matterhorn in the Alps. Three of the Antarctic Pyramid Mountains' four sides appear to have eroded at the same rate, thus suggesting that the type of rock was uniform. Mummified Penguins you will find many unusual creatures in Antarctica. For example, there are so many species of penguins here. The most famous species is emperor penguin because they look like emperors wearing crowns. A team of researchers discovered six mummified penguin bodies on an Antarctic island. The discovery of these two-toned birds gives scientists a rare glimpse into how these species may have survived the last ice age. The mummified specimens were found on the Rauer Islands on King George Island in the southern part of Antarctica. The team that made this discovery included researchers from the University of Florida, the University of New South Wales, and the Australian Antarctic Division. They spent six weeks excavating through layers of ice to reach the bodies and their nests. The researchers believe that these six specimens represent one of only three known species of mummified penguins that lived during the last ice age. They include Eudyptes chrysophilus, modeled penguin, Eudyptes sp Pygocelis papawa, New Holland penguin. The team also found evidence that these birds were eating other organisms, such as mussels and small fish, along with kelp, seaweed, and other plants. These plants grew near shorelines where food was scarce during low tide seasons like winter and spring. Other unusual creatures include seals. Antarctica is also home to seals, which are the same kind of animal as sea lions. They have thick fur coats that help them stay warm in the cold weather. The seals can be seen playing in the water and sunbathing on rocks or icebergs. Whales Many whale species live in Antarctica. Many people travel here to see them because they are so rare. 
two popular species of whale hair include orcas and blue whales. Orcas are also known as killer whales because they hunt other animals for food. They have long bodies with upturned snouts, which make them look like they're smiling. Blue whales are huge animals that eat tiny shrimp-like creatures called krill. They have big mouths full of sharp teeth and swallow their prey whole. The Pyrie Reese Map the Pyrie Reese map is one of the most important historical documents today. It shows Antarctica, the South Pole, and the shorelines of Africa, South America, and South Asia. The map was compiled by a Turkish admiral, Pyrie Reese, in 1513, just eight years after Magellan's voyage to the Philippines. This map has many features that make it so unique. For example, it shows Antarctica much earlier than other maps during that time. This implies that it was drawn by someone who knew about the existence or had access to the information about it that Magellan did not have. It also includes several details about places that are not on other maps. For instance, there are drawings of mountains on both sides of Antarctica and information about some islands off its coast. The most interesting thing about this map is its connection with Antarctica. It shows an island called Terra Australis Incognita, which seems to correspond with modern-day Australia. However, the map's accuracy and authenticity have been called into question. Some claim it simply does not correspond to reality, while others claim it is an accurate representation of the world at the time it was created. Secret Nazi Base the Nazi base in Antarctica has been controversial for decades. Theories about its existence range from aliens to secret government projects, but after years of research, it was discovered that it's much more interesting than we'd ever imagined. The site is known as Von Neumann Station, located in the West Antarctic Peninsula, one of the coldest places on Earth. The temperature can drop to negative 50 degrees Fahrenheit, and there are no trees or plants here at all. It's just a vast ice sheet with nothing but snow and ice for miles around. The Nazis built a permanent base in Antarctica during World War II, but few people knew this because they didn't want anyone else to know about it. They knew if they told anyone about their plans for Antarctica, their enemies might try to stop them from building a base there. It wasn't until several years later that Allied forces discovered this secret Nazi base. What many don't know to date is that there was another Nazi base in Antarctica. The area is known as Camp 4. It's nowhere near Camp Adair or McMurdo Station. Instead, it's about 1,000 miles to the west. Getting there would require traversing some of the world's most hostile environments. These include negative 40 degrees centigrade nighttime temperatures and 50 degrees centigrade daytime temperatures, among other harsh conditions. Still, on the subject of Nazi and Germany, a story about a ghost ship from a German expedition is told. German explorers set out in the early 1900s to chart Antarctica's southern ocean and map its coastline. However, their mission was cut short when an ice shelf collapse trapped them beneath the glacier for years until they were rescued in 1913. The ship remains visible today as it sits atop an iceberg near where it was found, and it contains supplies for another German expedition that never made it off land. These include food rations, tools, weapons, personal belongings such as letters. Lake Vostok, a lake trapped under the ice. The largest lake in Antarctica, Lake Vostok, is also the deepest. It's buried under 2,700 meters of ice. This is more than twice as thick as Niagara Falls. This massive body of water was discovered in 1996 by geographer Andrei Kapisa. He based his findings on seismic soundings collected during the Soviet Antarctic Expedition. He found a couple of dozen microbes thriving on its surface. Geological studies suggest that the lake's basin is valley-shaped. Ice penetrating radar confirms that Lake Vostok is 150 miles deep and 30 30 miles wide. The sides and bed of the lake are made up of bedrock. The bottom of the lake is made up of sediment. More research is needed, however, to determine the exact type of sediment that makes up the lake bottom. It is unknown whether the sediment was deposited by flowing meltwater or if it is preglacial. If the sediment is preglacial, it will lend credence to the theory that the lake existed 15 million years ago and was preserved by the ice above it. Meteorite Fragments you may have heard about discovering the first meteorite fragment in Antarctica. However, you may not know that Francis Howard Bickerton discovered it. On April 8, 1912, his team members discovered an iron-nickel meteorite on King Edward VII Peninsula in Queen Maud's Land. This discovery is considered one of history's most significant discoveries as it proves life existed on our planet long before humans arrived on Earth. A Perfect Rectangular Iceberg 
This is one of the most disturbing discoveries in Antarctica to date. It was made by scientists studying how ice moves to understand better how climate change will affect our planet. The iceberg was discovered by researchers from the National Ice Center in Seattle, and their findings were published in Geophysical Research Letters on January 15, 2019. The rectangular shape is caused by vertical cracks that split through an otherwise smooth sheet of ice, a phenomenon known as slicing or splitting an iceberg into two pieces. Icebergs typically grow through accretion when they form from smaller chunks. However, sometimes larger portions can break off from a glacier or flow downslope away from heat sources like volcanoes or warming oceans due to changes in ocean currents. Vanishing Ice the melting of Antarctica's ice sheet is a serious issue, but it's not the only one. Scientists are now uncovering evidence that suggests that the Earth's climate has changed significantly in the past 100 years and could change again soon. One of these discoveries is evidence that Antarctic sea ice has been shrinking faster than expected over recent decades. Previously thought to be stable or even growing slightly, new research shows that Antarctic sea ice has been decreasing at an alarming rate since 1979. The reasons behind this startling discovery are currently unknown. However, there are several possible explanations for why this may be happening. Changes in ocean currents or temperatures may be causing the ice to melt. The ozone hole over Antarctica may affect how much solar radiation reaches the Earth's surface. Melting land ice could contribute to rising sea levels, decreasing the amount of salty water under Antarctic ice shelves and causing them to melt faster. A meteorite crater the size of Paris This crater is one of the world's 25 largest, is thought to have formed 12,000 years ago. This meteorite's environmental impact on Antarctica is still being studied. Scientists believe it significantly impacted the ecosystem at the time and continues to do so today. They believe this event's climate change is to blame for significant changes in some of the world's most important ecosystems. A UFO sighting reported by the military A helicopter pilot flying over Antarctica saw something unusual on his radar screen and reported it to the U.S. Air Force. The sighting occurred at McMurdo Sound on New Year's Day. The Navy's icebreaker USS Eltonin received word from its electronic intelligence Elint aircraft that something strange was happening near McMurdo's ice shelf. Four large aircraft were patrolling in formation around an object believed to be a floating platform from which several men were visible moving around below it. The Navy ordered its EP-3E surveillance aircraft into position above what would later be identified as a UFO craft. Ancient Underground Civilizations Ruins In the past few years, many discoveries have been made suggesting that ancient civilizations may have existed under the ice. The theory goes back to when explorers first started heading north to Antarctica in the 1800s. They found many artifacts buried under thousands of feet of snow and ice. It seemed likely that these were left by some ancient civilization that once existed on Earth before humans did. Archaeology, according to researchers, always goes hand in hand with paleoclimatology because both are attempting to explain climate change. If evidence of an ancient civilization was discovered beneath Antarctica's glaciers, it would fundamentally alter our understanding of human settlement patterns. Discovery of some fossils near the McMurdo Dry Valleys Fossils have been discovered near the McMurdo Dry Valleys in Antarctica. The McMurdo Dry Valleys are located in Antarctica. This valley is part of a larger area called the Trans-Antarctic Mountains, and they run for about 3,000 miles. The Trans-Antarctic Mountains are made up of two main sections, the Ross Sea Embatement and Ellsworth Land. These dry valleys were named because they are generally free of snow and ice. They have a high concentration of salt, magnesium, and potassium, which explains why plants and animals that live there are unique. The fossils discovered here are from woody plants that grew in low-lying valleys and date back 50 to 100 million years. A team led by a paleontologist discovered the fossilized leaves. Although the ancient trees were not native to Antarctica, scientists believe they were transported there around 70 million years ago by wind or ocean currents. Mount Erebus Despite the freezing conditions in Antarctica, there are four volcanoes on Ross Island, although all are inactive apart from Mount Erebus. Mount Erebus is the southernmost active volcano in Antarctica. It's also one of the most active volcanoes in the world, with more than 100 eruptions recorded since 1820. James Clark Ross, 
discovered Mount Erebus in 1841. The volcano is surrounded by ice shelves and glaciers, which are part of Ross Island's South Magnetic Pole. Ross Island is a large island that sticks out from the coast of Antarctica. This island was formed when a glacier moved across the land and melted, creating a huge valley between Mounts Terror and Agassiz. The glaciers that melted into this valley eroded Mount Terror until it collapsed, leaving behind Mount Agassiz. When this happened, Mount Terror grew taller than its neighbor Mount Agassiz and became an island in itself. Mount Erebus is constantly erupting. The last time Erebus erupted was in 2020, and scientists explain that there is more to come. Antarctic Fungi Since Antarctica is covered in ice and snow, you would expect no signs of life from both plants or animals. However, there are some fungi found there. It survives by being sheltered from the elements by ice. Many species of Antarctic fungi exist, but they all have one thing in common. They are all very cold adapted. This means they have adapted their metabolism to work at temperatures below 0 degrees Celsius, negative 32 degrees Celsius. This allows them to survive in harsh conditions where there are no other plants or animals around for them to eat. Antarctic fungi not only survive, but thrive in the cold. Some species can even grow faster at lower temperatures than at higher temperatures. They don't require a lot of water. Some grow on dry ground and have no intrinsic water storage chambers. This means that even if it's freezing, they will not die due to a lack of moisture. They slow down their movements until it's spring again. Surprisingly, scientists discovered a type of fungi gorging on the petroleum leaking from explorer's fuel containers. They are researching this fascinating fungi to see if it can be used to clean up larger oil spills around the world. Paulinia in Antarctica Polynyas are areas of open water in the Antarctic ice pack. They occur when a ridge of high pressure builds up over the area, creating a pocket of warm water that melts the ice around it. This forms an opening into which water can flow into the surrounding ocean. Because polynyas can form quickly and cover large areas, they can significantly impact climate and weather patterns. They can also create hazards for ships, as they may start around mooring lines or other fixed structures like pipelines that are located in their path. In January 2019, a polynya appeared in the Antarctic's Ross Sea, with temperatures ranging from negative 1 centigrade to 3 degrees centigrade, an unusually warm temperature range. This polynya was named Cyrillic, after Russian scientists who participated in its formation by using satellite imagery and shipboard instruments to study its behavior over time. The formation of a polynya can lead to environmental damage if not appropriately managed. When a polynya forms, it can increase ocean currents, adversely affecting marine life. Additionally, if the increased water temperature causes algae growth, this algae may be toxic to aquatic life and humans who consume it. There are several ways that researchers have been able to study how polynya might impact marine ecosystems and human activity in Antarctica. One method involves using satellites such as Radarsat-2 to monitor changes in sea ice volume around Antarctica. Another way consists in using underwater robots called Autonomous Underwater Vehicles AUVs, to detect changes in ocean currents around Antarctica. Singing Ice Singing ice is a phenomenon that occurs when wax-coated ice crystals vibrate in the cold air. It's caused by the same process that causes a piano to produce music when you press down on its keys. The ice crystals are made of small spheres packed tightly together. When exposed to cold temperatures, these surfaces begin to vibrate, creating a thin-sounding tone that can be heard as far as 600 meters away. The sound of singing ice has been documented in Antarctica since at least 2010, but it's only recently become widely known. A study published in 2016 found that singing ice could be heard up to two miles away from its source. Scientists are also using singing ice to study Antarctica as a whole by observing how this phenomenon changes with time as well as location. They hope to learn more about what causes it, what it means to, for the environment, and how we can use it to understand our planet at large better. Gambertsev Mountain Range the Gambertsev mountain range in Antarctica is one of the planet's most dramatic and interesting sites. It is a mountain range that has been sculpted by wind and ice for millions of years and is still alive today. The Gambersev Mountains are located in the continent's West Ice Shelf region. This is where most of Antarctica's ice shelves have formed. The ice shelf sits on top of a giant glacier called Peterman Glacier, one of the largest in Antarctica. It flows westward from its source near Mount Vincent. The Gambersev Mountains sit directly across from this glacier, and they were formed when Peterman Glacier broke off from the main body of ice that makes up most of Antarctica's landmass. As you can imagine, this event was huge for the rest of the continent's ecosystem. The breakaway glacier created a massive of new area of life to take root. New species flourished there and spread their influence across much larger territories than would otherwise be possible. 
Blood Falls The Blood Falls are a waterfall on the Taylor Glacier near Mount Bonnie in Antarctica. They are the most famous and easily accessible waterfalls in Antarctica. The fall is about 90 feet high and occurs where several glaciers meet. The name comes from the water's red color, which is caused by iron oxide in the ice. The salt water is also extremely rich in iron and barren of oxygen and sunlight. As the iron-rich water trickles through a fissure in the glacier and comes into contact with the air, the iron oxidizes and rusts, thus turning the water dark red. The Lost City of Atlantis in Antarctica the list of disturbing discoveries in Antarctica that could change history would not be complete without mentioning the Atlantis story. Atlantis is the legendary city that is said to have sunk beneath the waves. Researchers have been looking for the sunken city for centuries, but they've never found it. However, evidence suggests that Atlantis existed and was lost to the ocean floor long ago. Scientists have recently discovered evidence suggesting that Atlantis was a city built by humans on top of an ancient seabed. The evidence includes tunnels and chambers that were dug into the ice, as well as artifacts left behind by ancient civilizations. Plato first described the city in his book Timaeus and Critias. He claimed that Atlantis was a great kingdom that flourished before other civilizations were even formed on Earth. The city was located on the southern tip of Africa, on a peninsula called Atlantis. It had a large harbor where ships could dock and unload their cargo before continuing to travel to other parts of the world. Many buildings in this city were made from gold, silver, and bronze. Plato's description of Atlantis is so detailed that scholars have used it as an example of how to write a fictional story about ancient history. Many authors have tried to create similar stories about other lost cities, but none have been able to do so successfully. Antarctica is a land of mystery and intrigue. It is home to some of the world's most extreme environments and some of the most beautiful sceneries. The continent is one of the most isolated places on Earth, making it one of the least understood places. Many interesting discoveries could change history, but only time will tell what we discover next.